Hello, my friends. I've heard from so many people, Microsoft Project is hard and they don't want to use it, but I want to show you what makes Microsoft Project hard for some people. Just a few minutes and you will agree with me that Microsoft Project is not as hard as people make it to be. Microsoft Project has a lot of bells and whistles, but if you narrow down what you need and you stay focused on what you need, you won't find it as difficult, all right? So let's jump into the tool. I want to show you a few things really quick. All right, here's Microsoft Project. Now we're going to set up a very straightforward five-task project, okay? First thing you want to do is click from manually scheduled down here, make it auto-scheduled. Next thing you want to do is go to project and put in a start date. So let me put in a start date of 1st, of January 2023 and okay okay I know it's a Sunday that's all right now the next thing you do we type in our tasks so let's type in our high-level tasks of analysis design develop test and implement this is how you put tasks into MS Project. You do not type dates in forcibly unless you truly have a constraint. The next thing you do is you assign durations. So let's go ahead and assign some durations. And these are durations for the tasks. And the next thing you do, depending on what exactly you are doing is decide on the type of task. Now, what makes people run all over the place with Microsoft Project is this one field. Let's insert the column and let's put in type. When I do that, you can see we have fixed units. However, Putting fixed units here will make Microsoft Project use the calculation work equals duration times units to scramble around the duration. If you don't want the duration to move on you, you got to change this to fixed duration. And I'm just going to copy down and make them fixed duration. Now, if you permanently want it to be on fixed duration in this particular file, you got to go to file and you got to go to options and then in schedule you got to go down and you got to make all the tasks the default of fixed duration so anytime I put in a task the duration is going to be fixed it will not move on me so I put in a zero for the milestone now if I was joining them just click drag down and then go to task and you can link them in a finish to start relationship and that's the project it's that simple if you want to assign resources to this you can since we've chosen fixed duration the durations will not move on you there are different ways you can put resources in here one of the quickest ways is to type in the resources Now, if you go to View and Resource Sheet, you got all your resources. If you want to assign rates to them, that's okay. You can assign rates to them. But just remember, the calculations must add up and make sense. So for this illustration, I will put some random monies in here just to show you how Microsoft Project works. We got some rates in there. We go back to Gantt chart. We've told it it's going to take 10 days and Mary's going to be working 100% of the time. Let me show you what that looks like below. Let's right click and do the split screen. And now you can see that Mary is working on this for 100% of the time. So Microsoft Project says, well, if she's working 100% of the time, then that's going to be 80 hours. 
If this is not a true depiction of the effort involved, in other words, the work, you got to tweak this. So let's say she's really working for 40 hours across 10 days. Type in a 50%, okay it, and now it changes to 40. So you got to make sure you balance reality with what is in Microsoft Project. This is a very simple way of you putting together a schedule. If you wanted to put in more stuff, you could always insert fields. And I could go on and on showing you the nuances of this tool. But if you are keen on knowing more, just remember, I offer training and coaching to help people get good in Microsoft Project. You got to go to pmanonymous.com or go on down to microsoftprojecttraining.com and take a look at when my next class is. But I just wanted you to know, if you are struggling with the dates moving on you and Microsoft Project acting crazy, it's because you haven't figured out to fix the duration. So even if, take a look, even if I add more time to this task, let's right click show split, even if I add more work to this task, let's say I'm like, okay, Mary's gonna work uh, 80 hours, or let's say uh, 120 hours. Take a look at the, the duration, right? I say, okay, the duration doesn't move, but Mary's over allocated, but the duration doesn't move. So if I'm gonna resolve this, I, I gotta show that I have a resource that is in a greater quantity than 50 units. So if I add another person, let's say I add Joe, okay? And I put Joe at a 50%. And I take some of this work away, 60 for Mary, 60 for Joe. The duration stays the same. That's okay. The overallocation goes. I got two resources working on that, and it takes away the overallocation. So it's like balancing a mathematical equation, if you will. You got to know how the formula works and it won't be so intimidating. In order to track your project, which is the last thing you typically would do, you can right click and insert a work complete column if you're tracking with effort, or you can just do a percent complete. And as it gets done, you type in what percent done you are. And you have a little progress bar over there showing you your 75% done. You can also use these 0, 25, 50, and so on percent to make it simple. You can say I'm 25% done. You got a little progress bar showing there. Oh, I'm 50% done, so on and so forth. Microsoft Project has all sorts of nooks and crannies, but if you go into those nooks and crannies without professional help, you'll be frustrated. It's not a hard tool. I've been using this tool for going to 20 years. I can tell you, if you scale project down, you won't be in trouble. But if you don't, you're going to be like a hamster in a wheel trying to catch up with the tool and trying to figure out how to balance work is equal to duration times units. I've used them as project for everything from a five-line schedule to a 20,000-line schedule. I tell you, it is controllable, but you got to know what you're doing. All right, my friends, don't forget, go on down to the website. The website is microsoftprojecttraining.com. microsoftprojecttraining.com. And when you go to the site, you'll be able to see the most current training event that's happening. We have one that's rounding up right now. But if you want your team to be able to use this beast of a tool, you need to go on down there, sign up, and it will be a pleasure to have you in class. Thank you and take care. Bye for now.